All right, guys, what's up? We are back for another ESPN MIC highlights reel. As you've been paying attention, the stock market is tanking this week. Crypto is going down. There's more inventory in real estate. Where do you park your money? Guys, you need to learn a high income skill that is day trading. Instead of parking your money somewhere, you need to learn how to make more money. So guys, if you have any questions during this video, text 213-458-5997, or I'm gonna show you in a little bit how to actually book a call and get all of your questions answered. So every single week at the end of the week, usually Friday or sometimes Saturday, I like to make sure that you guys have an unbelievable kind of update of what happened, what transpired, Alex's PL at the end of the week, some charts that he represented and, you know, obviously executed on what the members are up to. And this is just kind of my chance to kind of recap the week. So guys, let's dive right in. Unfortunately, Alex got stung by a bee on Monday, which was uh, March 6th. Uh, negative $12,800, guys, really annoying day today. Really thought Cala would go red later today, but it ended up trapping nonstop. Lots of trappy stocks out there today, so it was tough. There's a new day tomorrow, so just annoyed today. So almost $13,000 loss to start the week, and I'll just kind of pull that up for you guys just so you can kind of get an idea of what Alex was talking about because he thought it would go red. Uh, Cala on the 6th. So let me go to a 20-day chart. One sec. And as you guys can see, we had a monster squeezer in this uh, in this stock on day one, which was right here the move, and actually day two, it just it just didn't break down like it should have. It didn't quote unquote conform to the chart like most day twos do. He got trapped a little bit, started the week a little bit bitter, but I'll tell you what. Alex recovered a lot of that, and then, uh, yeah, it might be a little bit of a negative week, but again, guys, welcome to trading. When you're still up $970,000 and you know, plus on the year, I think you're doing something right. Every now and then, we're going to be a little bit off on our ball, but as long as risk management's intact, that is what is important. And David actually had a really nice short on Cala, one of our members, Morning Nail and Bail. That's what he took. He didn't get greedy. Not that Alex got greedy, but maybe just a little bit, but he was in and out, took his money, ran. And uh, I love that. I love that, guys. Seriously, get your money, bounce, go to your day job. I love this Bastouf quick scalp on AI right there, sold on the red to green line just in case it does retest and just kind of fail right there, which a lot of the times it does, death candles back or fails at the red to green line. So I actually really like this. I like the entry. I like the exit. Nice little scalp. Move on. I got to put some of these every now and then, guys, because I just love this. Look, David really didn't do anything with this trade except very good risk management. He got in thinking that this VWAP reclaim would keep going, and whether it did or not, because I don't have the full chart on this and I'd have to go back. Guys, risk management, follow your plan. If you get in, it doesn't feel right, cut it immediately. If it does feel right, but again, you just kind of set your preliminary risk or whatever it is, just follow your plan. So every now and then, guys, some of the best stopouts in the world are, believe it or not, or some of the best wins in the world are just a stopout because you're mitigating big and medium losses. Guys, you can always have small losses. That's okay. If you're right 30 days in a row and then your red day gives back one, two, maybe three days, that's okay. Sometimes that's to be celebrated upon versus giving up giving up a month or a week or a couple weeks of gains. So anytime I see this, man, I'm never mad. I'm like, dude, like you had good risk management, bro. Rockmon, this guy's crushing, dude. This guy's fucking crushing, man. Great job right here, pre-market, coming into the open, covered up, and then guess what he did? He started scaling where the stock failed before, guys. This is so key. Frontside shorts require frontside covers of the move. Did a really good job at that. Followed it down on the backside of the move or the start of the backside and the trend sentiment change. Just beautiful. This is where it failed. This is where it failed again. So he's going to be right there for the scales. Beautiful, beautiful job. That is MIC process, guys. I'm telling you right now. Travers, GNS, day two. I love this. Caught a really, really nice catch on this. Sold the rips. Did it just, uh, guys, literally, long the stock on a sentiment that is going up and sell the rips and buy the dips and sell the rips until it doesn't work. And that's what Travers does. He's really good at that. So that's kind of following trend, following sentiment, following the strength when it is there. There's not much more to be said than that. Let's see, we're coming in for a $3,000 day, so a little bit more, a uh, little bit of a makeup from the 13,000. 
Uh, after yesterday's loss, my focus today was a nail and bail mindset as it should be, just focusing on green again for confidence building. Wanted to wait for entries to come to me rather than me chasing it and overstaying. TRKA, I am not usually good at sub $1 stocks, but after the stock crashed, I shorted the balance for a quick scalp. We don't typically like under $1 stocks, guys. It's just kind of the lay of the land. They're very manipulated, but let's see what Alex did. So we are going on TRKA on the 7th. We are going to scroll back. I do believe, yeah, I do believe that was right here. So this was a beautiful bleed. Alex did exactly what he should have done, guys. When a stock is super weak, actually, I'll just kind of zoom in a little bit so you can see. When a stock is super, super weak under the red to green line and under VWAP, kind of deviated, guys. Uh, like I said on the, on the um, one of our members was doing on Monday, the reason why he was selling into the red to green line is because it does kind of test again and then fail like on this example. So this actually happens quite a lot because that's a resistance line. It's a key level where people, it's just like a psychological level that people are thinking about the whole time they're in the trade and specifically veteran traders who are like, who know about that line and know about that price level, which a lot of retail actually don't, but a lot of people are paying attention to this. So when it's super, you know, the trend is super broken or it's super under VWAP and it's breaking through the red to green, that retest at the red to green, basically where it fell before, is just a really good scalp, which Alex took. Nail and bail, great freaking job made uh, 3K on that. And, you know, sub pennies, guys, it's always a little bit harder to trade because you have to calculate how much size at like 40, 50, 60, 70 cents versus you trading like anywhere from like a three to seven dollars. The size might mess you up every now and then psychologically. That's why I don't like them. It's not hard to do the math, but then you go, God, if I usually use 1,500 to 3,000 shares on like this 350 stock, but this is like five cents in range and it's 50, like you just, you have to use a lot more size and sometimes it'll kind of trick your mind into seeing that much size, even though the volatility is not there and obviously the share size is uh or the the share price is unbelievably smaller so you just kind of have to correlate uh uh your critical thinking so to speak there but that's why i don't like sub pennies and neither do any of us and they're super manipulated but great job on alex on trka Rockmon only managed to get a feeler on. The last trade was an accidental long. That's hysterical. Hey, great long, bro. Great sentiment change. But a great job. Where are the tops? Where did it fail before? Wonderful job. Wonderful scout. Hooper X, while I don't usually like a chase move like this, I do like this one because it basically cracked the death line for the day, that last support in pre-market, and a really key level on the day before. So you know what? If it fails, it's worth a stab. Hit it quick and scalp it quick and take your money quick, and I love it. Great job. Uh, David, UNCY long on zombie times. That's when you want to do it, man. So stock that's holding VWAP, a stock, that, a stock that's holding support, sell the rip right where you should. Beautiful job. Really, really clean. Really clean. Uh, TTs. I like that name. My ex-girlfriend used to call me TT. So, <laughs> so you know, Tosh T. So uh, that, that kind of rings a bell. TT. So <laughs> that's what my ex used to call me. But uh, check this out, guys. I love this. Again, not every trade can be a win as he put the L right there. So every now and then you're going to have an L. It's okay. Risk management. He didn't get in right here and fight this bastard all the way up here. I actually really like both these stabs and him cutting immediately as per plan, as per process. And like I said, guys, when you lose sometimes, it's going to be really key if you stick to your plan and cut quickly so you're never getting those medium and especially never, never, never getting those career ending losses or just quote unquote big losses in general that really set you back and set your confidence back and set your p l back and it's just never fun guys it's never fun to take a big loss they're unnecessary when you can pre-plan and you can follow that plan because you already know what you're risking every now and then there's unbelievable rare examples like getting caught in a t12 or something halts on you and you didn't know it was nano flow because you didn't do the research guys every now and then there's a very rare example of taking a medium to big loss but the majority of your losses need to be very very, very manageable. Um, so great job on all of our members who are getting in. Trade didn't work immediately. You stuck to your plan. You stopped out where you should have. Uh, hats off every single time. Irresponsibly long. I love what this girl did. She did a great job. Beautiful. Trend is intact. Let me follow it up. Let me buy dips. Let me sell the rips on a trend or deviated over VWAP or just over VWAP in general. And uh, this seemed like a little bit of a chase on that ad, but you know what? Still great job. And uh, I, I really like it. Very clean job. Very, very clean. All right. Let's, we are moving on to Wednesday. 
And uh, this was the watch disguise, even though Alex didn't. Alex actually didn't post a PL on this day, so I don't know what he made. So this actually might not be a red week. I just don't have Monday's PL. Uh, so I will not quote on that. I'll just go on the four days that I have. But let's see what the members are doing. I think Alex had some stuff going on Wednesday, so he just forgot to post. But um, check this out, guys. So P O S B R E. What do I like about this? I can literally ask the computer to nobody going to answer me back, but I know you guys are answering in your head. Guys, where did the stock fail before? Boom. That's where you want to be short. That is where you want to be. That long boomerang right back to where it failed before. Really, really good job. Clean, clean. Another one, Rockmon, Tesla Scalp. I love this. What do we always say, guys? When a stock is brutally beaten down and it's heavily, heavily under VWAP, there's this big air pocket under VWAP or over, guess where you want to be? You want to be on pops. You want to be on pops. So you don't have to necessarily wait for VWAP all the time because it's so deviated and so weak. There are examples when you can't do that if it's over VWAP, but when it's under, uh, that's going to work out. So I love this. Uh, Ibrahim SVRE again, he actually caught the front side short requires front side covers, but guess what he did where the stock failed before that's where he waited and that's where he was again. And he did it on this entry for where it failed before again, guys, you are always going back to the last place it failed versus the last, last place it failed because you already used the last place it failed on the last, last to the newest one. I know that was kind of a headache right there, but I'm telling you right now, guys, that's how it works. Fails right here. You want to be here. And again, fails right here. This is where you want to be for short. Now, just because this was the top and it's not exactly that level does not mean you don't scale. So this is why scaling is so important in stocks. Guys, if we knew exactly where a stock, if it just exactly went to that level every single time and then exactly this level every single time, well then guess what? I'd have a freaking mega yacht with 10 bad bunnies on it washing me down with freaking suntan lotion. It doesn't work like that. You got to scale. You got to size appropriately. You got to get starters. And I'm not in the French Riviera on a 5,000 mega yacht getting suntan lotion down by 10 bad bunnies. So this is why we have to pay our dues still and do the best we can that is the most disciplined. But believe me, man, I'd be on that freaking yacht if it was always the exact level that it failed before. But it's not. And this is why discipline, this is why risk management, this is why everything is important. Believe me, man, I want to be on that yacht one day. But we have to pay our dues like everybody else. You got to go back to work. And then Spy comes down and brings all your money down. Then you got to work even harder. Thanks, Biden. Thanks, Powell. All right, guys. Chooch shorted the bounce after it exhausted. Here's what I like about this. This is what I like about this. Again, with the yacht analogy. <laughs> This is where it should, right? Because that's where it failed before. But no, guys, no. So let me go back. You have to scale these things. That is really good patience to wait for this top, this top, and this peak. So again, that's your area where you want to get in. That's where it failed before. Obviously, that's exactly where it failed before, but you guys have to account for scale. They don't always reach those exact levels, hence why you get in right there and scale upwards of this level. So really clean. I wanted to actually critique this one. I don't usually critique on this, but I will critique on this one only because Rockman is getting so good. I want him to get even better. Guys, here's the thing. If you do frontside shorts require frontside covers, absolutely do it. But here's what I don't want you doing. And, and I know Rockman probably got a little jittery right here. I don't want you when you know that it failed right here and this is where you want to be. The, I, if this wasn't a fat finger, I don't want you guys kind of panicking out on this. Because I know th there's a good chance, I'm not sure, Rockman will have to correct me if I am wrong. There's a good chance this wasn't a fat finger and just kind of a little bit of a panic. And then he was like, wait a second, no, I actually want in this. This is a great trade. But guys, that's an emotional exit. This is where you should, anything under there is where you should be adding, not stopping out or not covering, even if you're in the money, just for little money. So this is where all ads should be taking place if you are adding to this winner, especially if you're cushioned. So just, you know, I'm, that could have been a fat finger, but if it wasn't, guess where he drew his box? That's where you want to be getting into the stock. So let's say he was completely covered out right here, uh, or, or this might be, you know, there's many ways that I could interpret this. He might be completely covered out right here, and this might be a short and then a stop out thinking, ah, shit, you know what? I was a little bit too early. I'm going to get out. It's going to break. 
Guys, no, 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 no. If you're going to get in right here, you better risk up to that level because, again, it, the, the stock's just going to clown you every now and then. It happens to me, it happens to Alex, happens to everybody every now and then, but the stock is going to, like, clown you, and then it's going to be like, ha-ha, stop you out, and then it's going to tank, and you're going to be like, ah, oh, man, I knew that was going to happen. How many times does this happen? So that's the thing about being disciplined. So if this was just a fat finger, I get it, but it looks like a stop on a little bit of a jittery move. Don't fret. We all get in situations like this. We all do this, but this guy's becoming a killer and I want him to be an absolute monster and things like that are going to make him a monster. So just something to take note, guys. Always something to take note. Little criticism. Never hurt anybody. You can critique me for God's sakes. Um, we are all just trying to get better. So Thursday on the 9th, Alex made 3.5K, caught a nice pre-market short on OSHA this morning towards 7, but scalped out of it as it was still front side of the move, patiently waited for a death candle at the open and short of bounce, and walked away before zombie hours. And I actually want to pull up the watch list, which I have up, and let's go over this. So I want to go over this specific one. So now that I have a little bit of time. So obviously, guys, today's Friday. This was yesterday. So this is what we're looking at. Um... Alex, Alex was hitting this, uh, let me, well, let me go over, sorry, let me go to the watches real quick. Um, Alex was saying potential hot tick of the day. I scalped it short pre-market, but as mentioned, front side shorts, guys, this is a major staple of MIC teachings and MIC process is when you are shorting front side, you must cover on the wash guys. I cannot make that any more freaking clear. You can not, I repeat, you cannot be getting a really good entry like a sniper entry like Alex did on the front side and then just hoping the rest of the day it fails it's front side it's telling you it's front side trend continues until it quote unquote doesn't and I know that sounds stupid I know that sounds layman's terms but let me tell you something that's a million dollar lesson that sometimes takes people a decade to learn guys a trend will stay intact until it doesn't so you anticipate shorting front side which is counter trend that it will continue to go up whether it does or doesn't which it actually did and that is why you don't get in it's you know what what did alex get in he got in let's near seven that's why when you don't get in near seven you know right here or, or down here the, you know this level this is why you don't hold and hope and think it's just gonna fade all day even if you do have sniper entries on that front side guys it went to freaking 946 pre-market alex would have been stopped out for a monster loss had he been an idiot but he was very smart he goes I know I'm hitting front side. So guess what I'm going to do? Front side shorts require front side covers. So I am not involved in waiting. So, so I am not involved in waiting for a death candle at the open and short. This will not be an easy stock to trade. So if you're new, avoid this guys. This was a headache of a stock to trade all day. If you were a new trader, but guess what the veterans did and a lot of our members did. Oh, let me just iron this out again. God dang, Tosh talks about this every single webinar. It must work. Oh, where did the stock fail before? So I'm going to give you guys a master, master lesson right here. You guys, this, this might save some individuals listening tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands. I'm going to teach you guys some free game right here. So the times where... I'm going to make this very simple for you to understand. You, you're going to really be glad that you tuned in this week. The reason why you want to hit a stock where it failed before on the absolute peaks is when it's over or just under VWAP. When you have a stock, guys, I'll draw it out for you. I give webinars in this every single week to our members. When you have a stock that's really, really weak under VWAP, and let's say it pops back up right here, this is where you don't account for these peaks, okay? Am I making am I making this clear for you? I know I'm not talking to anybody directly, but this is when you account for these peaks. It's deviation over VWAP, guys. So if a stock is just under, it's completely hovering, or it's near, you don't want to be in any of this bullshit chop. You want to be at the peaks where it failed before. This is master snipery, master level top ticking. If it is completely deviated under VWAP, guess where you want to be? You have the luxury of hitting where it failed before under VWAP and not worrying about these peaks because it's so defeated and so air pocketed under VWAP. That is a million dollar tip for you guys. You better be grateful for that. I just saved people who aren't even members tens of thousands of dollars for that. So guys, where did it fail before? It fails right here. That's where you want to be. Failed right here. That's where, where you want to be. If it was way under here, these are irrelevant and you're going to play the bottom 
or, or, I'm sorry, not the bottom tops, the tops under VWAP that are exaggerated. So again, when a trend is completely intact like this, expect these bastards to rip and continue ripping. And here's the thing, guys, not every single top is gonna work. So if you tried to short here based on this top, again, it works until it doesn't. So if you have sniper entries and you're cushioned for the first two or three, when you stop out on this one, it's a small loss and you're probably still in house money. Boom! Million dollar setup for you guys. Some some people are so hard headed. It takes them ten years to learn that simple strategy. Um, so Alex did a really good job here. Let me close that out. Let's see what the members were doing. And then uh, and then again again. I just you know I like to include some free game there for you guys every now and then. But if you become an actual member, think about the the, the more blessings to come. <laughs> Po on DTC. I love this beautiful use of outer lines. Just just beautiful guys. Ah. My man, Ryan Conley, guess what he did right here? The inverse of what you do if you're a short. Support lines that hold, and guess where he's selling? Where the previous top was. Guys, that's where you need to be selling as a long, because that's where shorts are waiting. Are you getting this yet? Are you ever reached through the computer? Are you guys getting this? Why aren't you part of MIC yet? I'm literally talking to no one directly, but it's fun to kind of spit at the computer and, and yell at you guys a little bit and pretend I'm choking somebody. Guys, where'd the stock fail before? Boom, over VWAP. That's where you want to be. Bing, bang, boom, Rockmon, killer. Killer. Uh, again, BLPH Bond, where'd the stock fail before? Just, wow, now that's sniper entries because he could have started anywhere at this base from the Wicks, but that is just, that's sexy. That's sexy time right there. Um, math, I just had to pull this up because... Beautiful job, guys. And sometimes the top, guys, is just a stuff move before. So as you guys can see, that really, really key stuff move panic wick. Wicks are pure panic. So you can very confidently short this one when it tests higher sets of fantasy orders, risking above that or 10, 15, 20 cents before. You know, above, depending on how comfortable you are in the trade and the setup and how much volatility there is, guys. You always have to account for size and volatility, which some days is just, you know, it, it'll freak you out every now and then if you're oversized and you're... or if it's too volatile of a stock. Guys, Alex absolutely crushing in today. Coming in with 62 whole dollars. Almost enough to afford a steak dinner. Absolutely monster job. LOL. With every single bank crashing today. And small caps being a little dead. I just took a small scalp on Sing. C-I-N-G short. Which I got a partial fill on. Not really feeling in the matrix today. So going to call it a day early and walk away. Alex does not push, guys, when he doesn't think he should. Uh, Singh wasn't on the watch list. It was just kind of like random. So I'll just kind of pull this up so you guys can get it. 62 bones. I wonder what he'll buy. <laughs> it's like when you get a Christmas card from your grandmother and she's like, don't spend it all in one place. You're like, Grandma, this is, I, I can't even get a Big Mac these days with this. What are you talking about? So just a just a really nice pump and dump scalp Alex caught. Not much more to be said on that. Really nice scalp. Out $62. Uh, maybe you can get some hot sauce packets at Wendy's or some ketchups. Uh, let me expand upon this for you guys. I'm trying to make this one funny for you. Uh, SIVBE did a wonderful short following trend down. Again, the banks are crashing. Boom, boom, boom. Follow the trend. That was kind of a uh, news market play a little bit today and trend as well. But yeah, those nice trenders, man. Um, e, also, F sell short. What did I just tell you guys? Way under VWAP. So guess what? Where's the top? Ah, it's right there. So that's where I want to be on the pop. If it was way over VWAP, then I'm looking for peaks. Is this starting to click? It's like, dude, I will make trade. I will force it down your throat how simple trading can be. And the and the, and the, the, the proof is in the pudding, guys. This is one of our members. Math. Win, 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 win. Like, dude, this guy is very disciplined based on our teachings of what I just showed you with the previous lessons. Hence, win, 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 win. Like, no red on the month. Solid job, brother. Solid job. Split letter. I don't shout this guy up enough. He is crushing it. Always is. Unfortunately, there's so much activity on his charts. It's a little hard for these webinars to kind of zoom in and go over it, but he's, he's absolutely crushing. So big shout out to split letter. I uh, want to shout him out a lot more. Tom Connor. We got a whale in the house, man. He's making P&Ls like this every single day. And I know we don't harp too much, guys, on P&Ls. Because, again, we're like the only community on the internet that really doesn't give a rat's ass about your P&L. We actually care about your hunger for trading. We care about your discipline. We care about your mission. Are you a good person? So hundreds of our members are doing this daily. 
But at the end of the day, that's their business. Our business is to make sure you are following your plan. But you know what? Every now and then, it's just really cool to show some numbers just, you know, for the sake of what people can see as potential. And Tom's crushing. Tom's rich now. Great job, man. Doing this freaking daily. Uh, guys, so that's kind of the tutorial. I want to show you a couple things real quick. This is our wonderful, beautiful home away from home virtual chat room. And as you guys can see, I'm going to, I know my channel is kind of disappear here on this computer, which it won't for you, but every single day, guys, we have a watch list. So like I just pulled up, Al, I have screenshots of this, you know, Alex has a watch list every single day. You scroll down to the most recent, and then we take that and we go to what's called the main trading chat. And every single day, as you can see, timestamp in order, fills, charts, education, mentorship, Bao, Alex, moderators, everybody who's available, Bao freaking crushing it today. Look at SI, that's so beautiful. Just following trend down, guys, just following it right down. So, you know, the beautiful thing about this, guys, is the fact that this is repeatable. Everything at MIC is a very repeatable process for literally 2,100, you know, thousands of members, guys. And we're the only ones who are doing this on a really mass scale. Uh, if you were to actually go down through our channels, you could see that there's a room for large cap and options. There's a room for swing trading down here. There's rooms for everything, guys. So if you want to kind of have fun with the crowd and kind of shoot the crap with everybody, success trader for the win, Nick Pappy, I love that. Um, guys, check this out. This is our after hours networking channel where look at the, these are all of our members man this is steven our travel mod linking up with a lot of the members dude how sick is this man this is this is no joke guys like a real real family community this is not gimmick this is not get rich quick these are people who are literally that's alex and steven uh in miami at one of our last meetups Ooh, i spy a beautiful little timepiece. but guys it, 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 this is what community is like we show our faces we show up to meetups we throw events like this is fucking fun, man. This is what you're getting when you join MIC, guys. This was the most recent Miami meetup. And as you can see, man, success trader in the house. Everybody, guys, everybody. So it's a good time. It's a good time. Uh, let me show you a couple more things. This is our website, guys, myinvestingclub.com. I'm trying to make this as big as I can. Uh, just three things I want to kind of show you guys real quick. If you want a one-hour free training immediately, you're going to click this right here. You're going to grab that. Get that one hour free training. You're going to scroll down. You're going to go to view, view verified broker statements. Let's see if Alex is actually worthy of the Audemars skeleton on his risk. Well, yeah, it looks like he is. 8.3 million in the last 3.5 or three and a half to four years, guys. Broker verified every, you know, every statement possible. Guys, this is your main educator. This is the guy you're learning from daily. I would hope that the guy I was learning from daily was making 8 million in the last three years. That's pretty sweet. So that's uh that's kind of the way of it uh let's see video library right here guys i got to make this very clear uh content you know google search engine for mic style you know fomo revenge trade first red day first bounce, anything i'm looking to trade looking to learn full roadmap right here accelerator course getting started in the curriculum phase study guide then we cruise over right here alex's live trades guys this is a live trade series specifically for lifetime members if you want to upgrade or you want to get access to this just dm me or text my line but guys these are live trades recorded from alex on his computer real time and what he does is after the fact he closes up the recording then adds co audio commentary after we get it to the editing team they edit it together make it beautiful for you and uh, of course alex does that after otherwise if he's talking on his computer while he's doing a you know literally guys sometimes like a like a two hundred thousand dollar live trade sixty seven thousand it might mess up the trade so he does the audio after but the screen is recorded live during the day while he's trading so it's a live trade and it's uh it's really cool for you to see that kind of uh uh, that thought process, that execution real time. Not that you don't get that in chat with watch list and live text commentary, but you know, this is the exact screen, you know, screen share that you're seeing these live recordings. So guys, really quick up here, all you got to do is just text my line 213-458-5997. It's right here as well. Tosh at myinvestingglove.com or the most important part guys, book a call with yours truly. Tosh, I see what Alex is doing. I see what he's teaching. I see all these methods. I see these patterns. I've been struggling in trading for 10 years. My wife thinks I'm a loser in the markets. How do I get better? Well, you get on a phone call with me. We talk it out. We discuss. We see if MIC is for you. I will give you confidence in your decision in joining MIC. Or if MIC is not for you, now you'll have your confidence by the end of the phone call, guys. We are not 
trading your money and giving you split equity equity percentage that is what marketers and scumbags and scam artists do we are because so many people get confused on this guys we are a full service trading community that allows you to learn from us to trade your own money so we are teaching you to get a broker we're teaching you to trade your money with your broker we never touch your money that you're trading we you pay for a membership you learn all the patterns yourself and you trade them yourself with the community daily guys that is how we do it so it's a community that is predicated on making monster traders just making beasts of traders and having fun along the way and that's what network and that's what community uh aspires to be and that's what we do every single day guys all right a little depressing bringing this up because we know it's negative well i don't know 100 percent if it's negative because i actually don't have wednesday but we'll just say it is we'll say alex didn't trade wednesday which i i don't know i think he did i think it was a win i think it was like i don't know you'd have to ask alex but let's say okay negative twelve thousand eight hundred minus what three thousand uh minus uh 3500 <laughs> minus 62 dollars uh alex lost guys this is a negative alex lost 6200 this week uh maybe green maybe not i'm not sure but on the four days that i do have excluding wednesday negative 6200 dollars absolute paper cut for alex nothing drop in the bucket he'll be right as rain next week knock on wood and guys this has been a MIC, MI, MIC ESPN highlight reel. It's kind of a tongue twister. But if you guys have any questions, again, book my line, book a call immediately for a time slot, text my line, uh, you know, and guys, we'll see if MIC is for you and I'll catch you next week. See you guys. Hopefully this one was fun and kind of funny.